Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you been waiting for another episode. I know you been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the Yo, yo, y'all see what it say, it's the last, this volume three of the bodies of Half-Blood Sultan, <laughs> this the last Horcrux, we getting rid of that motherfucker, what's up y'all, I'm Lord Shoe X, I'm a polymath based out of Georgia, and you are watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. As y'all can see, I still got Ness's Instagram on the chat. Well, on the uh, the screen. Y'all go hit him up on IG. Y'all go fuck with his social media. Listen to his music on SoundCloud. You know, show my niggas some love. Now, I'm about to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, y'all? How everything going? Oh shit! Let me fix that. That don't. That don't look professional. All right, here we go. All right, let's get it. But first, if you haven't been to the website below, shoelovesrebels.com, check it out, y'all. It's a wonderful website with many great things on it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say, man, because I've been missing y'all. Like, I, I feel like a piece of me was missing. Like, during this last, these last few streams, I felt like a part of me was gone in the wind. Just, just missing. But it's cool, you know. I had I had emotional support from Eleven Eleven. She's been keeping me from going postal. You feel me? Making sure everything is copacetic with the content as well. I thought that was cool, you know. We don't all have people that's looking out for us, trying to make sure we be in our highest selves. I would like to say that's a blessing. Uh. But you know, what can you do? Can't all we can't all be lucky? Nah, we really could. Just a shift in the mindset. You feel me? But y'all seen the last post I did. Y'all seen the the recent the the commercial that I added after the intro. Y'all, I can't wait to tell y'all, man. So I'm going to just tell y'all now. The album, pretty much wrapped up. I'm pretty much just doing the little last touches to it. Finishing off the songs that need to be finished off. Pretty much. All that's left is just the little tweaks. 
So, y'all getting the heads up for everybody who wanna uh who want a copy of the album before it even drops. Y'all already know what to do. Y'all know y'all know what to do. And also probably I probably let y'all know on one of my streams. But I am going to have a surprise for y'all really soon. And y'all going to fuck with it cuz it's something since I don't know if y'all noticed something about the channel has changed, but just over the weekend your boy became an affiliate on Twitch. Which means that now y'all can subscribe to this channel and support this channel financially to make it grow even more. But y'all know I'm always increasing things on the channel. Always. Like, that shit don't never stop. So... That's been like the main thing that I've been trying to do is add some more stuff to the channel that's cool. <laughs> that makes make the channel uh you know, feel more like a TV show when y'all watching it. Like I went and got a interview with somebody that I've been making music with for probably since I've been making music in America professionally and someone that has pretty much seen all the ups and downs of Lord Shoe X's adventure to music greatness. So this this guy I would say is probably someone who knows me best well knows enough about me. <laughs> I wouldn't say he knows me, but he knows enough about my he knows what I let him know. So, now that we are all here today, after several days of going missing, I'm sorry, y'all. Like I said in the intro, that's why I said that in the song, man. I think about the last time I did something for the community. Y'all y'all like how this background look? This purple and this green? You feel me? This shit kind of hard, though. Like, that's the vibes we on today, man. I'm just, I'm so grateful that I can get on this shit and just let a piece of myself go into the world and I can be myself, man. I'm so grateful for y'all and grateful for this channel. Ever since I started doing Twitch, I've been feeling better, you know, mentally because I'm just getting a lot of shit off my mind. You know, I'm not just sitting with all this stuff. Cause usually I just tell 11, 11 and... I'm pretty sure after so long of listening to me ramble about ancient information and occult shit and fucking history of the planet and shit like that, you know, I would probably go crazy too, goddamn. But I, I never, with her, it's worse because I go deeper with the shit with her, so she just be like, fuck. But, you know, I'm going to try and uh, get, get it out of my head some more. So, as y'all can see... Let me see. Why well, I named the stream today? Uh, my name is stream. My aunt and Sophia's chaos, the road to self and more. Lord's observations. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you like to listen to me ramble. Like everybody on these streams, y'all, y'all are great people, man. Y'all, y'all give a polymath a reason to live. Okay. Information, study, and knowledge, wisdom. This is my life. This is what I do. I've been doing this since I was a very young person. Okay. Over close to thirty years of just straight knowledge. Right now, I'm going on twenty six years of studying occult information, studying world history, studying everything. Only thing I'm not adept in right now is mathematics, which I had a long talk with 1111 today about this. Really just kind of stream of conscious of shit that was, channel, you know, just channeling into my brain at that very moment. And I just, I just, I just start talking, bro. Especially if, uh, if I just got to get it out. And I'm used to just doing this by myself. 
So the fact that she was there while I was doing that was kind of weird. But normally I just talk to myself a lot. So, I mean, I'm pretty much doing that now. There's no one else in here. Besides you, you, Hakusho, on TV. Hey, y'all should, uh, y'all should watch that anime, though. It's a great anime. I recommend this for all the jits. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about, but there's a guy on there. They they talk about Reiki and spirits and spirituality and I mean that's basically the same thing as spirits, but whatever. <laughs> it's a good ass anime though. Alright, so let's get into this my eye after Sophia's chaos. So today in my stream of consciousness. Shadow work is the theme of this. It's the theme of this. Um, it's the theme of today's live stream. Shadow work. What is it? Shadow work. And I'll type that in the chat so y'all can see. Shadow work. Shadow work. What is it? What is shadow work? Well, for every person becomes their greatest self. I recommend to get to that point faster, shadow work. Most people would actually recommend. Psychiatrists would even recommend. Um, going to therapy is actually a form of shadow work. So if you feel comfortable enough to share your feelings and thoughts with a random scientist that calls themselves a doctor then go to therapy and get some shadow work done on you shadow work is addressing the dark parts of yourself the parts that you don't like about yourself the triggers that you have when you're dealing with yourself and others and by triggers, I'll give you an example. Like, when you are by yourself or with family members, you can be yourself and you can say the wildest shit and you can, um, I don't know, wear your hair a certain way or wear certain outfits. But when you go out into the world and you try and do the same thing and people will be like, what the fuck? the fuck you wearing nigga and you start feeling real self-conscious and insecure and shit one that's because you're not secure within yourself which only reason you're not secure within yourself is because you need to do shadow work see shadow work is how you 100% know who you are and on top of that you're able to stand you know stand strong in who you are so if somebody tries to sway you away from that, like uh, people try and tell you, man, you shouldn't dress like that no more, bro. You, you got to start wearing these type of clothes, man. Why you you fucking weird, dog? Stop doing that weird shit, dog. Niggas will used to always say shit like that to me. And I used to just be like, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do, nigga. But whatever you finna tell me to do, I'm definitely not finna motherfucking do it. Like... Shadow work is what's going to get you past all the emotional triggers, all the inner child things from your past as being a kid growing up that causes you to act a certain type of way today that's actually detrimental to yourself and, and uh, people outside of you. So, recently I did a stream and y'all see me in my element. You know what I'm saying? Just completely just ignoring people <laughs> and doing me and just enjoying myself in the moment. And you know how motherfuckers is, man. They start capping like time is of the essence because they change what they're saying because they within themselves are not secure. So then they start casting things on others to try and throw them off. But see, that's the thing. I'm not built like that, my nigga. Like, the only way 
Only only people well the only people <laughs> I still say I still said people. Only people that can get me kinda off my shit is a woman. Because women rule the world. So I'm going to value a woman's opinion over any dude's opinion any any ways and any day. And that's just real shit, you know. Not say, you know, I got something against dudes, but I just don't fuck with dudes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not not to the point where I can't interact with them, but most of the time, dudes, I don't know what it is, but dudes don't be on their purpose, man. That's why I really made this channel. It's like for men to get on their purpose. Y'all see me every day on here, on my purpose. Y'all see 1111 on here. She know I'm on my purpose, so she support me on my purpose. Now, if she didn't, you think I'ma stop streaming? Fuck no. Cause there's days that she might not watch my stream. Granted, I don't know what, what days those are. Cause as far as I'm concerned, she always watching my goddamn stream. Cause that's just what it is. But the point I'm trying to make is shadow work leads to alignment with your purpose. I don't fuck with dudes who not on their purpose because their insecurities will rub off on me and make me insecure. Fuck that. I would like to stay away from those type of people. And recently, I was around those type of people. And I also realized that those type of people are afraid to put themselves out and shine like a star. Because they think, oh, it's some some power that be that wants me to do this and then they're going to leech off of me. But if you're a real smart, conscious person, right? This is what the universe wants you to do. You're not in the sky already shining because we light years away just watching ourselves from our respective place in the motherfucking universe. So you're supposed to shine, my nigga. Okay? From the chaos came my aunt, my nigga. Yeah, shit is crazy on earth. But that's why my aunt came. The balance. Yourself. Your truth. Your balance. You you come out of the chaos and you, and you create your fucking self. Like I tuned did from the chaos, okay? And you shine like a motherfucking star. There's no fuck. You, all right, conspiracy theories are cool, man, but they can be detrimental, bro. Yeah, we always, you know, we on some, we we smart, we talking, okay? That's cool. But remember, the real shit is within you. Your truth is your perspective. Yes, that's fine. But there's a universal truth. And that universal truth is we supposed to be up there shining like stars anyway. We on this round to learn and we on this round to move forward and move up. Okay? No matter what, stopping yourself from being your true self and shining. You, even if you are humble, bro, that's cool. But when you start trying to portray a certain type of image, even though you just claim that, oh, I'm not like this. See, now you're contradicting yourself. And that's not right, bro. And when shit like that starts happening, that's when I just stop listening. And that's when I just start doing what the fuck I want. Because I'm in control of this, nigga. You are my shit. <laughs> so, most of the time, I'm always down to support others. That's because I got a big heart. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be a hundred with you, man. From here on out, think a motherfucker finna come on my shit. And be trying to talk crazy to me, man. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard for you in the future because I'm the type of person, yo, I'm, yo. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Before I go too far, I just wanna, I'm just wanna let y'all know that I am feeling this fit today. I'm not gonna lie, okay. Y'all can't tell me I don't look good right now, okay. I just had to say that. But I'm the type of person that shows love, okay all times man i know sometimes i can be irritated and sometimes i can just be really focused and i'm not on that on that shit right now but for real for real if you're not about the work and you're not about consistency i've been doing this shit for years starting companies back to back working consistently on um, building my skills practicing marketing practicing everything bro for years and you niggas just start one thing because y'all seen some niggas on youtube or whatever doing it that's cool, man. If you want my support, I got you, my nigga. But don't think you finna come on my shit trying to talk crazy to me and then think that I'm just finna be cool with it. 
and be like, oh yeah, come back to the show. Nah, nigga, you can take your ass on where the fuck you was finna go. Go where you finna go, bro. Okay? Uh, like, I'm gonna always love you, my nigga. But go where the fuck you finna go, because I don't got time for the foolishness, man. This is Lord of Perfected Work. This ain't whatever of Perfected Work. This, ain't, this is Lord. I'm Lord, okay? Lord X. All that other shit, that shit stay to the side, nigga. Move it out the way, move it out the way. <laughs> All that shit is extra, my nigga. Like, my I after Sophia's chaos, okay? Sophia being the Big Bang, the, the, the primordial waters, what the Egyptians call noon, which I put that in the chat. Noon, okay? This is this is shadow work in its purest form in metaphysical uh, terminology using uh, Egyptian code words and Gnostic code words. See, I can break this shit down to y'all a hundred million fucking ways. But like I told y'all, if y'all just look at these symbols next to my face, you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? I did a meditation this morning, a Merkaba meditation, and... I'm so in tune with my world that all I'm doing is just flying in circles in my Taurus field, in my spaceship, in my light body. My Taurus field is as important as the universe's Taurus field, as the Taurus fields that are in my brain because I drink gold and I drink silver. Like, I'm not your everyday person. It's niggas that's so sick they can't even drink this shit. How you can't drink Merkabas, nigga? Hmm? How? How the motherfuck you can't drink a Merkaba? You can't drink Metatron's cube, but you want to get the shit on your body. See, that just tells you, bro. But I, I already, for the people who know, I, I call this nigga the devil anyway. So, the devil always come around when they want something. I'ma always play the game with the devil because I if you think you the devil, then I'm the big devil. I'm daddy devil, nigga. You don't see my motherfucking cloak? I don't front for you niggas. I don't front for you bitches. What I gotta front for? Real shit. <laughs> Y'all know what fucking time it is in this bitch. This is Lord of Perfected Work, man. My name is Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. Okay? You see this website below? You should visit it. Because this ain't no game. This something I've been for a long time. All right? This wizard life chose me. I didn't choose the wizard life. The wizard life chose me. I can't stand seeing niggas who be on that fake spiritual light path. Yeah, you going to the light. You going to Lucifer's light. Because <laughs> that's the only light you going to ever motherfucking find. Man, look, I'm blacked out in this motherfucker. Cloaked out, nigga. But y'all know what it is, man. <laughs> to. I just had to, I just had to let y'all know that the road to self... It's a lonely, lonely road. <laughs> Nobody knows the troubles I see. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's a lonely motherfucking road. But we can't all be soldiers of God. We can't all be soldiers of Taurus Field. We can't all be soldiers of Sophia. We can't all be soldiers of planet Earth. That was meant for certain people. You know what I'm saying? People don't have peace in their hearts. And it's because of it that their hearts are slowly withering away. Now, I did a reading today on me and my lady. And it just basically came up to that same shit. Just what what can one person do when two people can do this the shit together? When three, four people can do the shit together, five, six people. Come on, y'all. Let's go on and build this community up. Because on the real, 
it's a lot of people out here playing this game, playing this money game. Y'all want to play a money game, huh? Y'all want to spend money, huh? Spend some money on me, fuck it. <laughs> spend some money on 1111. Go buy some of these notebooks. Go buy some of these books. Go buy this coloring book. I know y'all got kids. I don't give a fuck if it's cuss words in the book. Shit, they don't know the difference. They just seeing shit that they can fill in the color. And y'all be cussing all around your damn kids anyway. So do it really fucking matter? Like, come on. Let's be for real. You know, if we talk about the truth. Let's just be fucking for real for once. You know, everybody get on this motherfucker. Try to act self-righteous. And I'm the last motherfucker doing that. Because I'm Lord Shoe X, man. I done went through some shit, you done went through some shit. We all done been through some fucking shit, man. But at the end of the day, isn't isn't going through shit about learning from that, learning from the shadow, doing the necessary shadow work and learning from the past. And that's what came, my, came to my mind when I start thinking about my streams. Like, you know what? If I'm gonna interview anybody, it's gonna be people that on that on the same path as me. I never, never, ever will interview someone who um, ain't on that same path. You feel me? But it just goes to show that how much love I have in my heart and how much I don't really give a fuck about your flesh bag and what comes out of it. Because I know what your core essence is made of and it's withering away. So the little pieces of it that you hang on through me with I'll be happy to oblige man because that's why I'm here anyone who else who hops in and feels as if they uh, want to do the same and be a part of it as well just know that you are always welcome into this space this is a safe place for all for everyone I just I don't like when people do feel like they can't be themselves around me because I know what it feels like. Even though it was a very small, short period of time in my life where I experienced that, that shit to this day affects me sometimes. It's whack because it takes work to make that type of shit go away because you can still sometimes hear that shit in the back of your mind. But that's why you do the shadow work. You keep pushing and you never give up. Why y'all think I always say on this channel, I never give up on y'all? Because this channel is a form of shadow work. The things I say on here will help you to move forward to being your best self. It's the fearlessness that I have to come on here, bro. I used to cry when I used to get in front of people, bro. Shed tears. I went from crying to writing scripts in school and doing plays and being in the tech club and doing the school uh uh what do they call that shit uh the yearbook school yearbook all that shit i forced myself to face those fears so that today now i could honor the people because i knew i had a greater purpose that i just had to face my fears I'm still facing fears to this day, y'all. Don't get it fucked up. I ain't perfect. Like, it's shit I go through daily that I'm still working on. Daily trying to build up um, the right boundaries. Daily I'm trying to open my heart up more to love. Granted, uh, some jackass might be on YouTube or on TV telling men that men shouldn't uh, do certain things and that all women are the same and all that shit. Fuck all that. Like, I'm not fucking with none of that shit no more. All this separation shit, I'm not fucking with none of that shit. That's why when you get in my chat, that shit say no isms here. The only ism I'm letting ride up in here is the real ism, okay? And and the niggas who know what I'm talking about coming in my shit will know what the fuck I'm talking about. The real ism lives in this chat, okay? The real motherfucking ism lives in this motherfucking chat, all right? But all that other shit, classism, racism, sexism, that shit is dead up in here, man. And if you come in here, you 
Look, I'm all love and light and shit, man. But you come here with that fuck shit. Just know, you better hope I don't find where you live. Because I'm an investigative-ass nigga. <laughs> all right? <laughs> so just leave that shit out there, bro. This is a whole... this. From here on out, I told y'all, as, as shit progress on this channel, I'm gonna start giving y'all this real shit. Believe that. I still want my 50 followers, though. Even though I'm affiliate, I still want 50 followers. I need 44 more people. I don't care if you subscribe. I just want 50, 50 followers, man. Y'all don't even gotta subscribe to the shit. I give y'all free game. All of that shit. But I prefer you to subscribe because the goodies that come with this subscription... It's worth it. It's not just some bogus ass shit. Like I right before um right before I started this stream, I was watching uh this YouTube video about this girl that I used to watch on YouTube and how she like she's a travel girl. Which is why I used to watch her channel. I used to watch her channel a lot when I first found it because that's like basically how I wanted to move. Like I wanted to travel the world. You know, with like little to no money, just kind of like backpacking and shit. And from the way her shit was, that's what it looked like. But then there's some nigga who video I found just randomly on my shit, exposing this bitch. <laughs> I feel bad for it, but at the same time, bro, you can't be scamming people, man. See, that's not what the fuck my shit about. See, when I got on Twitch, I just knew that it was already motherfuckers on here. Talking about GGs, I need GGs in the chat and shit like that. Like, just how I was saying, I need tip tips in the chat. I'm not saying that shit, man. Look, I'm I'm on here talking about real shit that you're not gonna hear on no fucking Twitch, okay? People don't even talk about this shit on Twitch, man. And if they do, it's for five seconds. I give you an hour long of real shit that nobody on Twitch talking about. And I done did my research, bro. Every channel I found, they's talking about Jesus or some shit, bro. And I don't got no problem with Jesus. I don't got no problem with Buddha. I don't got no problem with none of these fucking deities. I use deities sometimes, too. I use deities in my fucking magic. I use Jesus as a deity for magic. <laughs> like, that's that shit is nothing, okay? To me, there's more that can be said than... Uh, misquoted scripture because most of the time the shit that they talking about they not even interpreting the shit right I'm giving you the oldest information on the on the fucking planet okay the same information that was quoted in that book that they use people and names and shit to replace because how the fuck you got niggas named Peter and fucking Israel Israel's in fucking Africa. How you got niggas named Peter in Africa? You know what an African name sound like. Them motherfuckers don't even have, have the time. They don't even say words. They making popping noises and shit. Jesus' name is supposed to be fucking popcorn. And you telling me this nigga's name is Jesus? You telling me this nigga's name is Peter? John in fucking Israel? I believe the nigga's name is Juan before I leave. believe that shit. Okay? And Juan is a European name, so that's why it's a derivative of the fucking word John, bro. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and talk about etymology, because that's not the fucking point. The road to self is a lonely road, <laughs> okay? Knowing shit and being about it is two different fucking things. That's why shadow work is important, man. You can talk all day, but if you're not about the shit... Leave it alone. Leave that shit alone. Where the fuck my magic wand is? So I can say this again for the weak wizards in the back. Talking about this shit, talking about knowledge and being wise is two different fucking things. Okay? Leave it to the people who really care about the people and want to give the knowledge to the people. See, y'all motherfuckers... With this occult shit, be the niggas. Nah, man. It's a secret code. We can't talk about it. We can't talk about this, bro. It's muggles around. You know what? 
when when shit used to be popping back in the seventies and eighties, with when when black people started becoming conscious of who they was, they had this group called the five percenters and the seven percenters, right? You know what they used to call people like me? The five the the five percent nation used to call themselves the poor righteous teachers. It's actually a rap group too. You can look them up. And it's actually the name of a lot of songs by a lot of followers of the 5% nation or 7%. The poor righteous teachers. We ain't getting rich off this shit, nigga. We trying to teach consciousness. We trying to teach you to be aware of your fucking universe. Being aware of your inner verse. Your outer verse. The whole shit. That's what we supposed to do. See, at one point, I used to think that same way, too, because my ego used to keep me away from wanting to be a part of the world and be locked up in some fucking place by myself, tinkering away, trying to build shit that I shouldn't even be building because I'm I'm not focusing. I'm listening to somebody else. I'm listening to that bitch. I'm listening to that nigga. Instead of listening to this and this. Instead of seeing with this and seeing with this. Fuck that, y'all. That's why I say on these streams all the time. This information I give you, share this shit, man. Share it. We all coming out of chaos. We all done had some crazy point in our lives. The fact that people holding all people accountable to certain shit and grouping them together is stupid. I have tested this theory on people myself and have seen their reaction. It's not fucking cool. Stop that shit. Please. When somebody has to constantly tell you they not a certain type of way, let them prove themselves, okay? In due time, what is done in the darkness will always come to the motherfucking light. You the type of motherfucker gonna stress yourself out. You the type of motherfucker that assume... And try and go do the same thing. Stop that shit, man. And then come to find out this motherfucker been loyal. Ain't did nothing wrong. Even if they not, so what? That's why I keep saying the road to self is a lonely road. You got to stand 10 toes in yourself, bro. Okay. Y'all know how nasty it is to wear somebody else's shoes? Wear your own shoes, man. Stop worrying about what other motherfuckers got going on. If you willing to share your energy with somebody else, you got to open open your heart up to everybody. Trust everybody. Until proven otherwise. See, niggas then got so pussy, man. They can't even trust no they can't trust nobody. They'll literally say, "I can't trust nobody." Nigga, what about your moms, bro? Granted, you might not be able to even trust them. If they prove you otherwise, then okay. But that's what I'm saying, bro. You got to get everybody a fighting chance first. Because not everybody have the same perspective as you. Not everybody got the same path as you. Not everybody doing what you doing. Okay? Got to give people a fighting chance, bro. Ladies. I know it's hard. All these niggas out here want to do is just fuck bitches all the time. Fuck these hoes all the time. But you got to give these hoes a fighting chance. You got to give these niggas a fighting chance. And I'm going to explain why. All these people are doing this shit. They're doing this shit because of the culture. You want it to end in the culture. If you care... That means you a light worker. That means it's your job to end the culture. Okay? You care about your feelings. That means you care about other people's feelings. That means what happens to somebody will easily affect you. Right? Guys, same thing. You feel insecure maybe because of what some nigga on YouTube telling you how to be this type of way. How to get girls this type of way. Nigga, just be yourself, and you'll be all right. Because at the end of the day, the wisest shit I ever heard from a pimp 
was don't chase these girls. Fuck with the girl that like you. When you chase a bitch, that's when you end up fucking broken, nigga. Don't chase shit. Don't even chase a check, man. Because it's money around us at all times. Being open. Like I said, you got to trust the universe. If you trust the universe, you trust humanity. Until proven otherwise. The universe that fucked you over, you really ain't shit. Because I ain't never been fucked over by the universe. Everything that ever was proposed to happen to me was some shit that I brought upon myself. And I can truthfully say that. And I'm pretty sure you can too. Anything that ever happened to you was brought upon you by yourself. It may not be in this life, probably in the past life. So you got to understand, some shit was made for you to learn a lesson in this life. Now what you going to do? You going to be a little bitch? Or you going to strap up your boots and understand yourself on this road to success? The real success. Not this shit that they showing you on TV. Not this shit that they giving you at when you work 50 hours at McDonald's running up the bag, as they say. Fuck all that, man. Because like I just said, the culture is dead, bro. We following this culture, and we and some of the people following the culture is light working, trying to make money off of that. Yeah, you getting money, but at what cost, man? Because quite frankly, I'm sick of seeing this shit my fucking self. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at nobody, and I'm not mad at the world. It's just every day I'm seeing people not doing the shadow work, not healing themselves, not being real with people, not saying what's on their mind. Not coming from the heart. Every time I see this shit, bro. Sometimes I have to humble myself and really just sit back. And that's what I wasn't even going to come on today because of that. But I said, you know what? I'm going to do my shadow work live. Fuck it. I'm going to just say what's in my fucking, on my heart. And I'm going to do this shit live, bro. Because that's what this fucking channel is about. It's about coming clean. This is this the diaries of Have Blood Song X. There you have it, folks. <laughs> I'm coming clean. Every time I get on this shit, I'm coming clean about a lot of shit. That be damaging my my heart and my soul and my fucking Taurus field. To the point I gotta get it out of me. Like this next album I'm putting out, I can talk about it now because it's pretty much damn near finished. Like, I maybe got two more songs left and it's done. During the process of this album, bro, like, this has been shadow work for me. Because these songs, all these songs are songs I wrote last year in a really fucked up state. My heart was hurting really bad. I was in the studio with niggas who seen me during the times that I was going through all this shit that I'm wrapping up this story of. And basically the whole Have La Song X story is just a whole fucking story of pain, bro. Because that's all it's that's all that nigga could have tracked, which is why this is my last album as Have Blood Song X. I refuse to keep making music under that name. I refuse to live my life under that fucking name. People who call me that, I don't really talk to them much anymore, if at all. And they always come back around because that little piece of me, bro, niggas loved it. They loved thinking that I was just so fucked up beyond my means. But that was the time during life that I really was learning and taking the most risk. And now y'all get Lord Shoe, the final product. This is what it took. Years of shadow work. This ain't no shit that just, I just started. I've been doing shadow work for years. I'm still doing shadow work. I will always be doing shadow work because I'm always trying to be better. The shit that I used to do, I'm not proud of that shit, man. At all. The fact that people are proud of it for me just even more just makes me want to shut that whole shit out. And it's a skeleton that's not in a closet. I let people poke at that shit, play with it, toss it around, do it. Just run my name through the dirt. Why don't you? I let people do that shit. But I tell you this much. No one can ever say that I never 
put my heart and soul into anything I ever created. I never tried to be the best person that I can be at any given time when I when I tried, okay? They can't say that I didn't work as hard as I could within my means because I still care about this fucking world, man. I don't want to usher violence. I don't want to bring pain to others. Unknowingly, I may have. And at one point, I did. Knowingly. But I was in pain. It doesn't justify that action. But that's why the shit happened. This is why shadow work is important. Because you can look back at your mistakes. And calculate how to not fuck yourself off in the long run. Because we all have made a mistake. We all have taken an L. I have taken L's in my life. And... That's what life's about, man. Shit ain't gonna be peachy, keen, perfect, ebb and flow. That's what this life is about, that ebb and flow. Every day ain't gonna be fucking perfect, man. That's why I hate when niggas always fucking... They love writing about this shit, but they not trying to apply the shit. They don't know how to control that shit. And that's when I become irritated. Because I don't know how to control it either, motherfucker. So you want to get your fucking ass beat? Like, come on, bro. Don't play with me. I ain't finished with shadow work yet. <laughs> I'm going to just run this commercial back, though. One, one, one good time, bro. <laughs> I'm going to run this commercial back. <laughs> ah! Y'all say goodbye, man. Bye, Lord Shoe. Bye, have blood sore. It's nice knowing you. I'm telling y'all, no more, bro. I'm too, I'm too lit as a, as an individual. I'm too lit, bro. I'm sorry. Like I should have been doing this shit, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Why waste your energy, not shining? Y'all be yourselves, please. The best thing you could do is be yourself, for real. Cause at the end of the day. You all you got, when all these people die and you're still living and you're laughing at their grave sites, you'll be like, I remember that guy, Lord, man, he knows the fuck he's talking about. Cause I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be the nigga in the kitchen with the pan, holding the pan, you know, arms wrapped around homegirl, like cooking the food, like, yeah, with, with my dick on her ass and shit. Like, yeah, this the life right here. Cooking fucking vegan food and shit. Y'all niggas gonna be hugging your fucking pillows. Where my bitch at? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just saying, man. Please, just listen to your heart. Listen to your motherfucking heart, bro. I gave y'all some observations today, though, I think. I gave y'all some observations of Laura Shuex. Y'all, I found out that Kanye doing fucking his listening party to Donda on Thursday. I ain't gonna say nothing else about it, bro. I'm hurt. Yay, what the fuck, man? You talk about me in your damn songs, but you don't wanna fucking invite me to the shit? You gonna put a post on Instagram? I'm supposed to, I found out about the shit after the fact, nigga. It's cool, man. Whatever. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm, I'm going to keep it real with y'all because I already heard the album. This is about to be his best album ever. Okay? 
I'm gonna keep it a hundo with you. This is his best work ever. You will never hear a Kanye West album from the past probably ever again. He's not doing no, when he do his tours from here on out, the only shit he performing is Jesus is King, Donda. He not doing no more secular music, so y'all ain't getting no more Kanye's workout plan, none of that shit. Y'all getting Jesus is King and Donda. Jesus is King is already the fucking shit. And Donda is already the fucking shit. So I'm just letting y'all know this shit about to be that motherfucking wave, all right? But yeah, man, just be yourselves, y'all, like, for real. I don't see how motherfuckers can want to be somebody else anyways. You ain't, if you ain't tapped all the way into yourself and seeing who you were as a person and just try to study as much as you can, go get a fucking astrology life chart reading, bro. Matter of fact, I'll recommend a person for you to go to to get a fucking life chart reading from. Asha Renew is probably one of the most articulate occultists that I've ever stumbled upon on the internet. Most of the occultists I meet are not on the internet. Asha Renew is probably the best, if not one of the best, next to KRS Channel, which is another guy I would recommend. He's on YouTube, though, so I would uh, check him out. KRS Channel on YouTube. KRS channel on YouTube is probably going to be the best, second best astrologer that you're going to find. But Asher Renew does, I think, four different types of astrology. He even knows draconian astrology. Like, bruh, nobody knows about draconian astrology unless you super occult study deep into, like, the teachings, bruh. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm a fresh head to, uh, draconian um astrology like i have my draconian astrological chart but studying that shit that's a whole different story i'm adept in uh ayurvedic astrology which is i use astrology as a healing method i use it as medicine he uses it as shit KRS uses it the same way as I do as a medicine, and Asha Renew, he uses several different types of astrology to find out what you're looking for. He'll use all the astrology to find out exactly what you're looking for. So, if y'all want to read it, and you want to know about what to do in your life, and you want to know who you are, and what you're about, and your tics, and all that shit, this man will find that out for you just by looking at your astrological chart, Okay. So y'all fuck with Asha Renew. He on YouTube as well. Asha Renew or Amun Asha Renew. A M U N Amun Asha Renew. Y'all check him out. I'm telling you, this nigga is legit. He was the first person I seen on YouTube that connected tarot with astrology and a tree of life. And by Tree of Life, I mean, uh, there's these teachings called uh, the Kab Kabbalah. Here, I'll type it in. The Kabbalah. If you're interested in that, look it up. But that's what got me to this actual thing next to my face, Metatron's Cube. Kabbalah. Metatron's Cube. The Tree of Life looks similar to the Kabbalah or uh, Metatron's Cube. I'm sorry. These ancient symbols next to my face are the makeup of our life and our universe, okay? So, as you watch this stream, just by looking at these symbols, you basically getting healed, getting an upgrade. I tend to, and I just watch them throughout the stream sometimes. Since I've been putting them up, I just watch them throughout the stream. You feel me? And as time progresses, I'm going to keep adding more symbols. I'm going to start adding symbols I create. But these symbols I'm putting up here are for your healing, for the love to increase in your heart and soul, for the ascension of each individual watching this stream. So, yeah. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Lord Shoe X. 
It's another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I just want to say thanks for everybody watching this stream. I'm sorry that I haven't been streaming the past couple of days, but I had to take a day, y'all. I had to get rest. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to force it because I don't want the the stream to be terrible. You know what I'm saying? I had built up enough information for a few streams this week, so the fact that today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, y'all will get five great streams. These streams will be, you know. Shit that I uh been gathering over the actual since Saturday. Shit that I've been gathering since Saturday of last week. So and I didn't stream Saturday. Yeah, I didn't stream Saturday, but I streamed all day Sunday. Which I regret because that shit just I had to I, after that stream I had to rest the entire Monday, bro. I was so fucking tired and just drained from demonic energy. So I just had to fucking I had to get my fucking soul right. Before I got back on this stream. So y'all, look. Y'all see this, man. Y'all see me. Y'all see the fit. I had to get right, y'all. Okay. Look. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got a message from the angels. Let's see what it is, man. Let's see what the message is today. All right, y'all. These are the messages from the angels. Y'all, y'all spirit guys. Whoever you worship or pay homage to or got an altar to, this is what they wanted me to tell you. Major changes are currently taking place in your life. Know that these changes are happening to advance and assist you along your life path and soul journey. And the angels encourage you to take full advantage of these new energies and the auspicious opportunities that come with them. The material and monetary aspects of your life are changing in positive ways. And you can expect abundance, new possessions, and acquisitions to enter your life. Take control and make choices and life changes that will improve and enhance your life in all ways. Trust that by making these changes, you will find personal fulfillment on all levels. And you will also be in a position to bring more stability and balance to, home, to a home and or family issues or situations. With each perceived obstacle and challenge, there is always a higher purpose, okay? There's always a higher purpose to the challenge. And opportunities for change and further growth. All right, I'm going to say that again. With each perceived obstacle and challenge, there is always a higher purpose and opportunities for change and further growth. That's what this. That's what today today's lesson was about, shadow work. The angels cannot prevent you from experiencing such things as bereavement, grief, heartache, and loss if they are part of the divine plan of your life. However, they can comfort, support, encourage, help, and heal and love you during and after the experience. Alright? Somebody you love might be a piece of shit. It was a part of your journey, man. That don't mean you have to be a piece of shit, though. Let the ism take over. <laughs> the real ism. Don't be a piece of shit, y'all. Grow. Get better. Learn more. Get more pussy. Get more dick. Be happy. Eat more fruits. Take more showers. Get a massage. Go to the spa. Something, man. But don't be an asshole, bro, for no reason. The world made me this way. Well, you a bitch. The world made you a bitch. <laughs> Don't be don't don't let the world make y'all lovely, nice, wonderful people turn you into fucking bitches. Okay? Because I see your real essence. There's a real sunlight in you. There's a real starlight in you. Don't let weak ass vibrations make it fade. Okay? Matter of fact, these symbols right here next to my face, let them remind you of who you really are. Okay? Anywho, I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a poly map based out of Georgia. Visit my website, shoeloveswebbles.com. Got some good ass products on there.
Stop listening to hoes. Stop listening to bitch ass niggas. And live your best life. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> I am out this bitch.